Uh, let's talk about ISIS, get the basics. If you're not up to date on what ISIS is or ISIL, you need to be. It's happening in the world today, and you need to be up on what's going on. Let me give you some basics and catch you up to speed. What is ISIS? I-S-I-S, the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. President Obama, the President of the United States, does not use the word ISIS, he uses the word ISIL. Islamic State in Iraq and Levant. Levant is a word that's been accustomed and used by Muslims throughout the years. Levant is a more expansive geographical area that goes as high up north near Turkey and Syria and as far south as North Africa and Egypt. It also includes Jordan, Lebanon, it also includes Israel. So when President Obama says Levant as opposed to ISIS, what he's really saying is he, he expects this terrorist group to actually intend, if not succeed, at actually moving through that whole geographical area. So when he says that, he's talking about a greater movement than ISIS, which is isolated to Iraq and Syria. That's the first thing you need to know about those two words. The second thing is 100% of ISIS, or ISIL, are what are called Sunni Muslims. Now, about 87 to 90% of all Muslims in the world today come from the, from the tradition of Sunni, S-U-N-N-I, Sunni. About 8 to 12% of all Muslims are what we call Shiite or Shia. So most, or all of ISIS is Sunni, and most of the Shiite or Shia are in Iran. We'll talk about that in a minute. 2% of all Muslims are smaller sects or Wahhabis. You find these mostly in Saudi Arabia. So for the most part, you have the majority of Sunnis, and then you have a smaller group of Shiites. Now, what are they up to? Well, ISIS or ISIL is seeking to establish and have already in their own mind established what's called is an Islamic state or a caliphate. From the 1500s to the 1900s, there was a Turkish caliphate, also known as, as the Ottoman um, Empire. They want a caliphate. What is a caliphate? A caliphate is both a kingdom or a dominion rule over other peoples. ISIS or ISIL are seeking three things, and they have these three things now, in their progression to develop this caliphate or kingdom or dominion. What are those three things? The first thing they need is law, and their, their law is Sharia law. You're going to hear this more and more in the news. The imposing of Sharia law onto a people group, onto a community that invades a community to take over. ISIS or ISIL has a law called Sharia. The second thing they have is a leader. Now their leader is what's called a caliph, caliph. And that leader is self-imposed or self-identified at present. His name is Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. And you can go on the internet, you can watch him give speeches every once in a while. He's a target, so he doesn't pop up very much. They have both law and a leader. And the third thing that you need for a caliphate is land. And they are acquiring land at a very fast, fast pace. Be it Raqqa, the capital of their um, operation in Syria, Mosul, Tikrit, really outside of Baghdad, which has 7.2 million people in it right now, they are moving quickly. Even at present, as I film this today, uh, the expansiveness of ISIL is actually taking place in Libya, which, North Africa, uh, President Obama was right, ISIL. It's a greater geographical reason, re region than we actually anticipated. Now, what, is, what do they have in common? What do these Sunni ISIL people want. They want to take over the world. They want to annihilate all infidels or non-believers, those who will not conform or convert to their uh, religion, and uh, to eradicate the world of all Jews and any infidels, Christians, Jews, even Shiites. And they'll even kill one of their own Sunnis, as we see in the Jordanian pilot that was down and uh, burned to death. So that's, that's kind of what ISIL or ISIS is all about. Mostly Sunni, trying to eradicate the world of all infidels or non-believers, are in opposition to Shiite Muslims in Iran, and they have a law, Sharia law, out of the Quran. They have a leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, and they have land, and that is changing on a daily basis as they seek to acquire it.